What is up, guys? Gaming Bluecraft. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a colonial house I made on a server. Uh, we're just going to quickly get out of that. Uh, all right. So, here is the house. Uh, it's, a, it's a very small server. It's a private server. Well, it's not private, but you got to be experienced, you got to be good, and you got to be creative um, at building and all that jazz. So, if you're not good at that, then don't even bother joining the server. Um, <laughs> Uh, I got my inspiration to build like this um, from a guy named Shiftmaster. He is a great builder. Check him out on YouTube, guys. He he is my idol. I um, I'm a huge fan of him, and you know he's such a good builder. So check him out on YouTube, guys, because he has has the skills, and he is what brought me to realistic uh, building styles. So oh, okay, let's see here. Um, let's just do a quick flyby of the colonial home. You got the garage unit, um, small patio on the back. I mean, the yard's not that big, so I couldn't really fit that much in an air conditioning unit, which is a nice add-on. And <clears throat> the uh, uh, furnishing um, is uh, quite not that detailed. I'm not very good at furnishing um, on the inside, but the landscaping, I actually kind of like. It may be a little boring. It may be a little, you know, not that much, but it's okay. I have... Um, some lilac, alluvium, and like I think a pink tulip or something. But when you first come in the house, it's got a big grand entrance with very big staircases, a couple chandeliers, and it just looks really nice with all the dark wood. I really do like it. Um, I also put two plants uh, right there in the tall area. But yeah, this is two-story high ceilings. To our left, of course, we have the kitchen, and I used the Casey wood because it was new in 1.7.4 update, and I thought it kind of looked pretty good, so I just added it in. Um, and uh, if you see any um, like styles or designs um, that are from Shiftmaster, full credit to him because I do take after his building skills; they're so good um, that I have um, been um, following up on his videos, but. Um, there's a guy named Josh Fly. He's out here. He's super nice. Oh my gosh, he's actually watching the video. <laughs> That's awesome. So, um, yeah. So I'm just going to take a look inside. Um, so yeah, we got the kitchen area. The, um, yeah, what, what's it called? Dining area. I can't believe I forgot that. And I used a little bit of crown molding in the top with uh, nether brick. Uh, but that's always, that's a, kind of a good feature. The bathroom with, um, pink, um, Pink stained clay as the uh, floor, and more crown molding with beacons as lights, and uh, toilet paper, and yeah, so some good details in here. Like I said, guys, if my furnishing's not that good, I completely own up to that because I know my furnishing skills are not that good. Um, you know, you can only get better. So here is the TV room. Um, Wow, what is it? Um, storage area. Gosh, I cannot think today. And the garage unit. So that's pretty nice. Also, back behind these stairs is a little closet thing, not yet done. And a seating area with player heads, which are totally awesome. And a cool looking painting. Um, and then in the back, of course, is that patio area. So. All right, so we're gonna head upstairs. And to our right, we have two, or we have one master bedroom. Which uh, doesn't have that much detail again. Um, they have a walk in closet that is not yet done. And a uh, sh uh, bathroom. And then across the hallway is two more bedrooms uh, kids' bedrooms or guest bedrooms, whatever you want to call them, with uh, two plants and a really good view of the modern houses. And then there's another one of my homes. And down there's some cool looking French house, I think. I don't know. Um, here is more of a modern approach bedroom, which I think is pretty cool looking with hanging plants. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, and then we head upstairs to the attic area, which has a seating area. With another uh, kind of older looking television. And then across the way we have a what you could call the master bedroom. Uh, it's quite large. And we're just going to do a final flyby of the house because that's about it, guys. That's that's the house. The colonial house. So let's just take a look outside. Oh, I got a comment. The inside is smexy. Josh Fly, thank you so much, dude. Oh my gosh, he's watching. 
swag. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe for more, and since this is my first video, if you guys liked it, I will continue making videos.